Namaste, sir. Yeah, yeah. Am I audible? Yes, sir. You are audible. Can you see my screen? Can you all see my screen? Yeah. Okay, good. Right. So I think we discussed about sets in the last class uh, with the last classes. Okay. And uh, I think we completed that. I sent you one question this. Anybody of you solve this? Did you solve this? No, sir. Why? Nobody solved this? This is still a homework for you then. I want you to solve by yourself and then you ask me doubts. So we'll be starting today with the topic of relations. Okay, we'll be starting today with the topic of relations and functions. Okay. We'll be starting today with the topic of relations and functions. So sets we did. Set is a basic chapter. The pre-learned uh, knowledge that we just did, we'll be using that to solve some questions related to the further chapters that we are going to study, that is relations and functions. So these are most relatable, the first three chapters, sets, relations and functions. Okay. And uh, I think uh, this will be easy for you to understand if you have understood sets. But as of now, I, what I feel here is that you're not solving questions by yourself and that is too bad. Okay. This is something I don't like really. You just have to do two hours daily maths, not more than that. If you do that, you'll be just the, uh, I like at knowing all the concepts, at least all the concepts will be at your fingertips. Two hours maths you have to solve every question of the NCRT and one side book that you should use. Whatever it be, it should be R.S. Agarwal or R.D. Sharma or whatever it be. Okay, so we'll be starting with relations, but I just need a confirmation from your side that you should solve the questions that you have got as homework and the uh, sample problems that you should do from the NCRT. Right? Okay, so relations. First of all, uh, we'll be learning about something called ordered pairs. Ordered pairs. What are ordered pairs? Okay. Two numbers, two numbers, A and B, listed in a specific order, listed in a specific order, and enclosed in parentheses. 
enclosed in parenthesis. Closed in parenthesis, form an ordered pair. Form an ordered pair. Right? So what is basically an ordered pair? See, uh, we can write any ordered pair uh, as A comma B. This is an ordered pair that satisfies some condition. Here the condition has not been specified. Okay, but this will satisfy some condition that will see how. So this ordered pair of two numbers within the parenthesis is called, so this pair of two numbers in parenthesis is called ordered pairs. First thing, if A comma B is one ordered pair, Okay, and that is related with C comma D. That means corresponding parts are same. In that case, A will be equals to C and B will be equals to D. Okay, this is equality of ordered pairs. This is called equality of ordered pairs. Are you getting my point? Yes or no? Put a thumbs up if you agree. Okay, so this is called equality of ordered pairs. Say what you have to do. If two ordered pairs are getting equated, the corresponding numbers will be same. For example, I'm giving you a question. I'm giving you a question, right? The question says that find A and B. Find A and B. Try to do it by yourself. When? When? We have one ordered pair A minus one, B plus five is equal to two comma three. Tell me the value of A and B. A is equal to A is equal to A is equal to B is equal to B is equal to minus 2. This is correct. What you have to do, you just have to equate it here. So A minus 1 will be equal to 3, 2. Right. And uh, B plus 5 is equal to 3. So from here, A will, A will be equal to 3, B will be equal to minus 2. Understood everyone? Yes, right? sir. Write this page. Write this page. We'll be moving further. Tell me if it is written. He did, sir. Okay, good. Next page. Uh, one more question. Question says that if x by 3 plus 1, y minus 2 by 3 is equals to 5 by 3 comma 1 by 3. You know this. Find x and y. Sir, x is equal to 2, sir. X is equals to 2. Why? 1, sir. Very good. What's your name? 
front bench girl janavitas sorry can you spell it out j a j a y a y a n i t h i s yes sir okay i'll call you janani okay is that fine yes sir okay now so this was just a few types of question that we solved this was the most easy one then we'll be moving further so we'll be doing the cartesian product of two sets for example for example uh or before mm -hmm. that one more question is there i can see that one more question is there in my notes see what you have to do you have to express express x comma y such that x square plus y square is equals to 25 we have a condition of x comma y where x square plus y square is equals to 25 mm -hmm. more conditions are there where where x and y belongs to whole numbers x and y belongs to whole number as a set of ordered pairs as a set of ordered pairs so you can see that we have to find two numbers that is x and y which is satisfying the condition x square plus y square is equals to 25 okay so can you tell me which two numbers can you guess just guess it out random guess what can we take as x and y to get 25 What can I take as x and y to get twenty five? Can I take five and zero? Huh? Can I take this number? Yes, sir. Right. What more can we take? Can I take zero square and five square? Yes, sir. What more? Three comma four. Three comma four. Very good. Three square plus four square is twenty-five, and simultaneously four square plus three square is. Any more possibilities? No, sir. Yes, there are. Can I take minus five whole square plus zero whole square twenty-five? Yes, sir. Can I take minus three whole square plus minus four whole square twenty-five? Yes, sir. No. Didn't you see this statement? I cannot take negative values. Are you sleeping? I cannot take negative values. Okay. So all the possibilities which I have for ordered pair x comma y is what? That is a set of five comma zero, or zero comma five, or three comma four. Or four comma three. Is there anything else? Is there anything else? This is the answer. So they had found. Uh, they asked us to find the uh, x comma y as odd as a set of ordered pairs. So we made this ordered pair the possible ordered pairs, and we uh, put it under sets. Understood? Yes, sir. Good. Write it down. We'll move on to the next page. <laughs> yeah. Tell me if it is done. Is there any doubt? No, sir. Okay. Okay. So next we'll be studying about. Next we'll be studying about. 
कार्टेशियन कार्टेशियन प्रोडक्ट ऑफ कार्टेशियन प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू सेट्स कार्टेशियन प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू सेट्स सो व्हाट इज दिस टू गेट हियर लेट अस से दैट वी हैव अ सेट ए and we have a set b we want to find the cartesian product okay so cartesian product of set a and set b will be nothing but if a comma b is there such that a should belongs to a and b should belongs to b you will not understand anything by this definition i know that so i'll be giving you examples for example if a set is 1 comma 3 comma 5 let us say and b set is 2 comma 3 and we are asked to find a cross b we are asked to find a cross b so a cross b will be nothing but 1 comma 3 comma 5 cross 2 comma 3 so you have to make a ordered pair set of ordered pairs so what can be the possible ordered pairs so ordered pairs can be 1 comma 2 1 comma 3 3 comma 2 3 comma 3 then 5 comma 2 And five comma three. Understood, everyone? Yes, sir. Did you get it? Simultaneously, we can find B cross A also. B cross A also. So B cross in B cross A. What we have to do? We have to write the B part first, and then we have to. We have to write the B part first, and then we have to write the A part. So it will be like this. See, you cannot write one comma two is same as two comma one because they are pointing two different quantities, a and b. Okay, so both are different things. So it will be two comma one, uh, two comma three, two comma five, then three comma one, three comma three, three comma five. Understood, everyone? <coughs> Did you get it? Yes, sir. Good. Write it down. Tell me when it is done. Good, good, good. Now some remarks on it. Some remarks on cross product. Point number one. Some remarks. Point number one. If number of elements in A is equals to P and Number of elements in B is equals to Q. Okay, so then number of elements in A cross B will be what? P into Q. Or number of elements in B cross A will be the same. P into Q. Okay, so if A has got three elements, B has got two elements. How can you? How many combinations did we form here? A had got three elements. B had got two elements. How many combinations were there? One, two, three, four, five, six. That you can get three into two six. Same as simultaneously, what combination did you get in B cross A? So two into three, same six. One two three four five six. Understood? Yes. Sir. So this is one comment. Then 
if if at least if at least one of one of a and b is infinite any one of it is containing the infinite elements then a cross b or b cross a is also infinite understood right if any of them contains infinite element even multiplication will get infinite third point if a contains phi phi means what null set no elements b contains phi we define a cross b as phi got it Tell me when it is done. The boy sitting behind, uh, beside Janani is Yashwant, na? If I'm not wrong. Yes, sir. Yashwant, did you solve this question? Yes, sir. I was absolutely class. You were absent, so did not you take the uh, like uh, notes from your friends? Don't you have friends? Don't yeah, tell me I, that. I, I know you have. Okay. Next time I'll ask you. I want this solution from you. Written, everyone? Yes, sir. Okay. Now tell me. I have a set A. I have a set A as 1, 2, 3. Okay. And set B as 3 and 4. Right. I have one more set C as 4, 5, and 6. You all do it by yourself and find me the value of B intersection C. What is B intersection C? Four. B intersection is C. Uh, B intersection C is four. And what is A cross B intersection C? So that will be one, two, three, multiplied by four. Agree or not? Yes or no? Yes. Right. So find me the value of this set that you'll be getting after multiplication. Four, four, three, come on. Very good. 1, 4, 2, 4, and 3, 4. Right. So this is one thing. Always uh, you try to remember this. We'll get back to this. Okay. A cross, I'm just uh, putting it in box. A cross B intersection C is this value. Now what, with the same set, you write this You write this in a copy because I'll have to change the page. Quickly write this. I'll show you something great. Tell me when it is done. Okay. Now, you must have written that set A, B, and C. Can you uh, see there and tell me what is the value of A, inter A cross B? 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 1, 3, 4, 2, 3, then 2, 4, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3
and what is b uh, b cross c oh no sorry sorry one minute one minute it should not be b cross c i need to find a uh, a cross c a cross c this you tell me hmm Then? Two comma four. Two comma four. Then? Two comma five. Okay. Two comma six. Two comma six. Three comma four. Three comma four. Three comma five. Hmm. Three comma six. Why are you missing this one comma three and two comma three and three comma three? Okay, it's not there. Sorry. Okay, okay, it's not there. This is different question. Okay, so till here it is agree, right? What is a cross b intersection a cross c? Now this you tell me. Four. Okay, two one comma, comma four, two comma four. That's correct. Three comma four. four. And three, three comma four. four. Three comma four. Did you see anything like this? Uh, quite before, just before. A cross. So can I say that A cross B intersection C is same as A cross B intersection A cross C? Understood. Yes. So whenever you'll be getting a question to get something like this, so you can take a common outside and then b intersection c inside. So you can easily solve this, isn't it? Similarly, similarly, I'm not proving it now. I'll be just writing a cross b union c will be a cross b union of a cross c. Understood. Fine with you? Right. Write it down. This is important result. Tell me when it is done. Done, good. Okay. Easy question for you. Question says that if a cross b, a cross b is equals to three comma two, three comma four, five comma two, and five comma four, you have to find set a and b. Tell me. Three. Three comma five. Three comma five. Five and B is two comma four. Two comma four. Good. Understood, everyone. Yes, sir. This is the answer. Hmm. Uh, just to acknowledge you if we have a set if a is equals to a set of a comma b so we can find a cross a also okay so it will be a cross a will be what a b multiplied by a b that will be a a b 
B comma A and B B. Understood? Fine. It was just to acknowledge you. Okay, one interesting question. If A cross A has nine elements, A cross A has nine nine elements, two of which are two of which are minus one comma zero and zero comma one. You have to find set A and the remaining element of A cross A. Do this. Pardon? Minus one, zero, one. Minus one, zero, and one. Good. Good. So since A cross A had got nine elements, that means each of them would, would have got three elements. Then only it will be PQ. A has got three. Again, A has got three. So three into three is nine elements. So that means each of them has got three elements. So uh, we can find three elements from here. Uh, we could find that minus one, zero, and one itself are three elements, three different elements. So now you can find all of the elements. A cross A is what? Minus one, zero, one. Multiplied by minus one, zero, one. So you can find rest of the numbers, yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay, right. Write it down. Where is Rakshit today? Is he present? Rakshit? Rishant. Huh? Rishant. Rishant. Sorry, 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 sorry. Rishant. Rishant, Rishant. Rishant, sir. Yeah, yeah, Rishant. He's eating, sir. Okay. I could not hear any answers from him today. Has he eaten too much? Feeling sleepy? Second. Done. Shall we change the page? Yes, sir. Okay. Next, we'll be seeing here graphical representation or arrow diagram, it is called. Graphical representation of A cross B and B cross A. How do we do that? See here. For example, A has a set of minus one, two, four, and B is a set of one comma three. Right? So graphically, we can represent it. A cross B is what? Minus one comma one, then minus one comma three, then two comma one, then two comma three, then four comma one and four comma three. This is A cross B. So you can just locate the points. Minus one comma one will be in which quadrant? Tell me. Second. Second quadrant, negative of X and positive of Y. So somewhere here it will be minus one comma one. Agree? Yes, sir. Then say this point, minus one comma three, where it will be? Second quadrant only. Minus one comma three will be in the same line as that of x axis, but it will be changing in the y axis. So this is minus one comma three. I'm just pointing it randomly. So this is just the graphical representation. You can look at all the points. It will be two comma three here, four comma three here, and two comma one here, then four comma one here. And what else? Anything else remaining? 
one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, no, all of them done. So these are the different points that you have to locate. Another one is arrow diagram. Similarly, you can do for B cross A also. Another one is arrow diagram. What is arrow diagram? Arrow diagram. So let us say that we represent all the elements of set A in this circle. Not a, It's not a circle perfectly in this area and set of B elements in this area because we have to find A cross B. So we'll be writing A first and B second. So what are the elements there? Elements there will be minus one, two, four. Here it will be one and three. So we are multiplying. We'll be taking each term to each term of the second set. So it will be like this. It will be like this. Arrow this side because we are multiplying A cross B. Second two will be like this. I should change the color. Um, yellow maybe. Two will be like this. Two will be like this. Arrow this side. Then four will be like this. Four will be like this. Arrow this side. Understood everyone? If you would have done B cross A, it was just the opposite of arrows. That's it. Write it down. Complete that, sir. Good. Uh, we can also define order triplets. Earlier we used to study about order pairs only, na? Yes. We can also define order triplets. Order triplets is nothing but A cross B cross C. How we have to find this? Uh, let us say that we have got a number uh, A is one comma two. B is two comma three, and C is three comma four. Now let's let us change the number. Let us change the number. One comma two, three comma four, five comma six. Okay. So order triplets you want to find A cross B cross C. What you'll be doing first, you'll be doing A cross B. I'm just putting this bracket here because I'll be doing A cross B first and then the result will be multiplied with B cross C. So what is my A cross B? So A cross B is 1 comma 3, 1 comma 4, 2 comma 3, 2 comma 4. Okay. Now this set is to be multiplied with set C that is 5 comma 6. So now you can write it. Um, 1 comma 3 comma 5 comma 1 comma 3 comma 6 comma 1 comma 4 comma 5 then 1 comma 4 comma 6 then 2 comma 3 comma 5 2 comma 3 comma 6 and 2 comma 4 comma 5 and 2 comma 4 comma 6 understood yes or no say yes or no Got it? Could not hear that. Did you get it? Okay. Write it down. So these were the basics about ordered pair. Now we'll be entering some useful results based on these ordered pairs. And then what is exact relations? I don't think we'll be able to start exact relations today, but we'll be seeing into the some useful results about the ordered pair. Is there any kind of doubt or understanding everything? Whatever doubt you can have, you can just ask me directly. Don't think twice if you have any doubt in your mind. Uh, 
Is it done? Good. So now we'll be entering into some results, some useful results based on. Yeah, go on. I have a doubt. Go on, go on. Sir, uh, there are order triplets now, sir. Yes. A cross B cross C now, sir. Can we represent that as A cross B in this C cross B, sir? Yeah, you can do that. So, no, uh, basically what you have to do, now you have to go in a straight line manner. Okay, otherwise the pair will be different. If it is A cross B cross C, so you have to go it like this only. Understood? Are you asking this? Are you asking this uh, A cross B and A cross C? This is what you're asking. A oh, you are asking this A cross B uh, first this, then this is equals to A cross B cross C. This is what you're asking. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, this is true. This you can go. I just took it randomly. This you can go. Understood? Any more doubts? Value not no, value will not change. That, that this conditions there will be same number of elements. Elements will be having same ordered pair sets. So value will not change. Okay. Even if you multiply this or you multiply this, you'll get the same ordered pair. You can try it out. You first what you multiply? You multiply B cross C. Okay. And then you multiply it with A, you'll get the same result. Sir, sir. Go on, go on. Sir, then, uh, yeah, yeah, but you come at last, sir. Okay, you are saying that when this one will come at last and five and three, this will be get disarranged, right? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We need to get the sets. This is one unit of mine. Okay, when we are talking about this particular multiplication, this is one unit of mine. Yeah, but if you had to represent something A cross B or in the second in the set like this, so that will be in that particular order only. Two comma one is not equal to one comma two. But here we don't have to find that. Basically, when you'll be asking to just one unit, one comma two comma three, that is not equals to three comma two comma one. Are you getting my point? But here, this is my one set. Here, this is my one set. Okay, you multiply it. Better you multiply it. Let us let us first multiply it. I'll show you. See, uh, we had. First, we'll now we'll be doing uh, B cross C. So it is B cross C. It will be three comma four cross four comma five. Uh, let us take one more set. Um, we are taking another set. We have a set A. A is a set of one comma two. B is a set of three comma four. 
C is a set of four comma five. Okay. You have taken random set. Now see here. Now see here. Um, first of all, what you have to multiply A cross B. Tell me what is A cross B. One comma three. One comma four. Hmm. Then one comma four. Then. Three comma four. Good. And now you have to multiply with this C. So A cross B cross C. We have first done A cross B. Now we will be multiplying with C. So when you will do that, what will you get? You will get one comma three comma four. Then. One comma four comma four. One comma four comma five. This is what you'll be getting. Now let us multiply B cross C first. What will you be getting here? Tell me. Three comma four, three comma five, four comma four, four comma five. Agree? Yes, sir. Yeah. Pardon? Sir, disperse oh. the time, sir. Disperse the time. Just one minute. I'll be just leaving after this. So, what okay. we, uh, what after A cross B cross C? You just multiply with A. So, A should be in front. A should be in front. So, it is 1, comma 2. And then you have to multiply with 3, comma 4, 3, comma 5, 4, comma 4, and 4, comma 5. Okay, now you do this. What will you be getting? One comma three comma four. Same you'll be getting. Is it same? You'll be getting same. What you don't have to do, you don't have to put this A at the end. This you don't have to do. Otherwise, your answer will be different and that will be wrong. If you put this A at the end, that will be wrong. I put everything in order. If I did A cross B, then I have to put C after that. If I did A cross B cross C, I have to put A before this. That should be in order. You can take any of them two at one, but this should be in order. Agree? Okay. Yashwant, your doubt got cleared? Excellent. Okay. Yashwant is really happy. I'm happy for him. But next time I'll be asking the question, this question. This question I'll be asking from you. Get it with your from your friends. Okay. Yeah. Understood every everything today? Any doubt? Okay. Thank you. Hope you like the session.